In a flower like this, the male reproductive organ is called the anther. It produces pollen grains, the equivalent to an animal's sperm. The female reproductive organ is called the carpal. Inside the swollen ovary at the base are egg cells. Pollen, egg cells and sperm are all produced by meiosis. Imagine a cell with just four chromosomes. As with mitosis, each produces an identical copy of itself. Chromosomes belong in pairs. One half of the pair, shown in blue, will originally have come from the father. The other one is from the mother. In meiosis, the chromosomes pair up with their partner along the centre of the cell. These pairs split apart, some of the mother chromosomes going with some of the father chromosomes. But it doesn't end here. These cells now split mitosis style. The twin-armed chromosomes line up along the centre of the cell before being pulled apart. From just one cell, four new cells are created. Meiosis produces cells which have half the usual number of chromosomes. It takes place during the formation of sex cells, like eggs and sperm. Why is it important that the number of chromosomes in egg and sperm cells is halved? 